So we have just loaded the two old cows up to go to the auction um, and I have just come to check on the sheep. So Roy's going to, Roy and his dad are going to the auction um, and I'm just going to go home and feed some calves. Oh, there's the wagon now. You can't miss it. <laughs> Bye girls. not um a nice feeling um i i don't mind selling young stock and i don't mind selling bulls because i know that they've got more in them and somebody else will take them home but i'm just i've always been a bit funny about selling cast cows just because that is it that's the end of the life like there's nothing else to give and i just think it's really sad and it is really sad. <laughs> mm. So these are last year's uh, girl lambs and they are just living their best life really. Um, and they'll just live out and be quite happy until next year when we put them in with the main flock and then they'll then get tucked. Um, but they're just babies for now. Um, they're just kind of roam around being a nuisance and escaping and occasionally dropping dead, you know, the things that sheep do best. There's a sheep on its own. That's never good. Sorry to startle you. Do not do that to me again. <laughs> Go on, get back to everyone else. I literally thought it was dead. That's <sighs> how you know you're alive. <laughs> Keep sheep. Guys, seriously, like this isn't even funny. What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? Hello? No, this is an intervention. This stops. You are not free range. Look what you've done. You were going. You were going and look what you've done. You're disgusting. Go on, get back up there. Shh. Get in your field. This isn't even funny. Like... Here we go. Boy. I walk, 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 stand. Good boy, walk. Stand. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Stand. Uh, it's a long walk. Uh, walk. Walk. Speak when. Speak. <coughs> So these guys are all free, free to go and live the best life outside. Oh, they can't cause the gate's closed. Bollocks, that's my fault. That was stupid, wasn't it? Mick half died. I'm only sharing this because I feel it would be dishonest with you to share a video about it and then not tell you the outcome. Um, 
I'll not get myself banned by going any closer. It just, yeah, came out this morning and he just was not alive. Um, I'd hoped for different, but I kind of, I kind of knew that he wasn't a good, a good specimen, should we say? Never mind. So the lambs have gone to the collection centre. Um, we took them earlier on today, and I, <laughs> my proper stink. So I'm just gonna have a shower, and they're gonna tell you a small story. So wait there. We are in a hotspot area for TB. Um, we test every six months. We have a TB test, a full herd TB test. And we are also on um, pre-movement testing. So any animal that wants to leave our holding has to be TB tested uh, before it does so. So the reason why I bring this up in a video is to ask a question to my fellow farmers and anyone that wants to contribute to this. We have had some cattle tested ready to go. A TB test lasts for 60 days before you need to retest. I do find it an interesting subject. Not many people want to talk about it. That's why I think we should make a video about it. So these guys are ready to leave. They have a clear TB test. But then in true everything goes wrong style, this one's decided it wanted to go lame. Now, as it's leaving and going to an auction, we can't possibly inject it with anything. We've doctored its foot the best we can. There was like a little, um, an abscess in the hoof that has burst out when we've um, put a knife across it, which is great. That's obviously gonna get better, but he's still slightly lame and his TB test is gonna run out. So he's either gonna have to stay on his own and be retested or hopefully be well enough by Wednesday to go to the auction. Questionable. So your TB test, your herd TB test is free because it's compulsory. You do not get a choice in the matter. Your pre-movement testing though, if your animals fall outside that 60 days and you want to sell them, you have to pay for it, um, which is kind of what is the issue at the minute. So they're gonna be moving us at some point from six monthly to a year, which is amazing and great for us because we hate doing that massive TB test and getting all the animals in. So we were speaking to somebody the other day and we were talking about um, TB testing going from six monthly to a year. And we're like, yay, this is great, wonderful. And their response to this was, it's terrible and we hate it because they need to pay for their pre-movement testing and it limits um, that time when you can sell the animals. And it's really interesting when you think about it, we have been in um, a hotspot area for like seven, eight years now, something like that, a long, long time. And we've kind of forgotten that we all changed the way that we started to sell our stock because of the TB testing. Like I've been here 13 years. So for the majority of that, I have been um, six monthly um, TB testing, which is a pain in the ass. How many times can you say TB testing in the video? But yeah, I have been testing every six months. And I hate it and Roy hates it and the animals hate it. And for a beef farm, it always falls at the wrong time of the year as well. Um, one of the tests is when you've got young calves. So you're dragging young calves through the crush with the mums. And then the other one of the tests falls when the cattle are outside. It's just an absolute ball ache. But I have actually forgotten that we all change the way we sell our stock because of this. Um, in days gone by, we used to just wait until the bulls, for instance, were ready and we'd sell them in batches of four or five. We don't do that anymore. We sell them in huge big batches of maybe um, half and half because they're in test. So I can understand where this person's coming from and I never thought about it from that point of view before and I just find it interesting. Obviously this video is aimed more at the farmers who would watch this than just the general public. But what are your opinions? Would you rather do a six monthly TB test like we do now, or would you rather pay um, for your pre-movement testing? 
I suppose it alleviates the problem of um, when do you sell your stock and being restricted, it opens it up a little bit more. But that's if you're willing to pay. And if you're not willing to pay, you're in an even worse estate than you started in. So yeah, it's just, the whole thing's a ball like, to be honest. Um, TB is not a good subject. It's definitely not a good subject for a farmer anyway, put it that way. What are your thoughts? Like, stick them in the comments. Thank you. That was in seven, 1266. So tonight I am going to do a talk on all the wonderful attributes of good old fashioned British wool at my local WI. So I've just come to my potting shed, which I haven't been in for quite some time and realise what a mess it is. Wow. Ooh. <sighs> There's some spiders in here. So Roy got the price back for the cows that went to auction and they were um, 1,007 pounds for the black and white one. And um, £1,266 for a good all-round red cow. So that's a really good price. Um, I think she had a premium on her because she was possibly a little bit more limousine than black and white. Um, but considering she was looking really ropey um, at the beginning of summer and actually there could have been a possibility that she was to shoot anyway, it is a really good price and super proud of that. Um, yeah. So I am just making tea and preparing for my talk on wool and what I thought I would do is um, put all these different types of wool, Oxford Down, Manx, Shetland, like literally every wool you can think of I have. So I'm putting them all into pots and then I'm going to pass them around and let people have a feel between the different qualities um, of wool. Now, I'm big up British wool. Like this, which is reusable. So, how do you 